Hello guys. Um, so happy new year. Um, it's 2019 and, uh, wow. Where's the time gone? Right. I just, I thought about that today. I was doing, I do a lot of like reflecting when I wake up in the morning and I just, I've been, you know, thinking about everything that has happened in my life for like the last year and it's been quite a ride um I can't believe like I guess how far that I've come I didn't think that I had the strength to do this every single day um but you know I found out a lot about myself this past, oh gosh, 13 months, um, a little over 13 months, um, since I started my journey, um, November 27th, 2017, um, it's, yeah, it's been, it's been eye-opening, it's been a crazy roller coaster, um, a lot of good things, um, a lot of moments, oh, I don't want to say a lot, but I have had my moments of, you know, doubt in the beginning and, um, obviously a little bit here and there throughout this whole process, just trying to figure out like, you know, how to, um, keep it exciting, you know, keep it, keep myself motivated and obviously the measuring tape and the scale and the way that my clothes fit and just um, the way that my body feels um, has been like obviously proof enough <laughs> that I shouldn't doubt myself and, and what I do. And the last, I would say month, I was just trying to figure out just different ways and like in a different approach. And this last um, approach that I wanted to do, um, it's not for me. It was the, um, doing the Weight Watchers approach to it, I guess. If I had enough carbs at, say, like the end of the week, then I would just consume them like, you know, a healthier veggie, um, and a little bit more of that. And, um, I realized that I don't want to do that. I realized that keeping it simple how I did in the very beginning is the best possible way. Um, so, sorry for that. It Obviously, it is, like, I think, seven degrees in Wisconsin, so he kicks in every now and then. Um, <laughs> so, I actually um, re rearranged um, my stepdaughter. Um, her room so you no longer see the Marilyn poster that I had um, and the picture that she drew um, it's crazy like she's growing up and you know she wants to rearrange everything and, and have it her way and decorate so it's pretty neat um, but yeah so that's what I'm basically doing I I have a new set of attainable goals. Um, this year, I would like to lose between 50 and 55 pounds. Um, 50 would be at my goal weight. Um, and uh, I'm gonna see what I'm at there. And if I wanna go further, then I'll go further. Um, and I have a goal size. I would definitely love to be in like a 12, 14, cause at the moment I am um, resting at like a 16, sometimes 18, like 18 in like dress pants, but um, like jeans, I can comfortably fit in 16s, which is awesome because when I started, I was a, um, a snug 28. Um, <clears throat> I should be I should have been wearing size 30 in jeans so in less than a year I I dropped down 
you know, 12 sizes in my pants alone, which is neat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I focused really hard on, okay, I want to be, have this be my goal weight. Um, but I would like to, you know, incorporate, you know, a goal size and, um, to just really be proactive and keep up on my health and, you know, do checkups and everything like that. I, um, I went to the doctor, um, and I believe I made a video on this. I'm not quite sure. Um, cause I wanted to check my cholesterol levels and everything came back like amazing. Um, I was nervous at first only because, um, I've seen a lot of people say how their cholesterol just like skyrockets and I'm like, oh gosh, you know, I just don't, I didn't want that, you know, for me. And of course I was obsessing about it way too much. Um, but my doctor even reassured me before the results came back. He said, being that your mother had such good cholesterol, has such good cholesterol and you're continuously losing weight. Um, I don't see a problem with that. And he was right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's great. So I'm just going to keep focusing on that. Um, and just taking it day by day, you know, it's, I've, I've had my moments where I've just, I've wanted to just almost give up and, and just eat like I used to, because that's the binge eater in me. That's the food addict in me still there saying, you know, why are you, doing this this is so out of the norm but i can't deny how good i feel you know so um i made some i don't want to say like new year's resolutions because i made this these decisions before the new year even came about um just setting new goals that i want to smash that i want to complete and i know that i can do um, for a while I lost that fire in my belly and, uh, it's back. <laughs> it is back with a vengeance. Yeah. I, um, I'm going to be incorporating, um, more exercise too. Um, now that it's, you know, the cold winter months, I can't be out on my bike like I used to. Um, and I've been paying for a gym membership for like the last, I don't know, two years that I've maybe stepped foot in the gym maybe three or four times. Um, but I got a lot of my exercise this um, last summer through biking and doing water aerobics and just being out in the fresh air. Um, but in the very beginning, I used to do like a beginner's Zumba. Um, I found a bunch of like videos on my phone. Um, uh, on YouTube and gosh they were so much fun and I just I've noticed that incorporating just even a half an hour of exercise like that a day is really helpful with my weight loss as well and just keeping my heart rate up and just keeping me focused and determined so I'm, I'm gonna get back to that um, so I just wanted to give you guys a little update how I'm doing and um, I also said that I really want to start making videos again, you know, and I've said that in the past. I don't know how many times I've said, oh, well, you know, I'm going to be better at this, but um, I need to because I do this for accountability. I do this um, so I can keep track of my progress, too. I go back and I look at, you know, my old videos and I'm like, wow, that's. That's where I used to be. Um, and it's it's humbling because, um, I don't know, like I just, sometimes I lose sight, I guess, of everything that I've accomplished because I just want to try different things and I just, you know, want to get to the end of the race right away. And there is no end of the race. This is, if I would stop this way of eating, I would just go back to, you know, my sciatic nerve acting up and arthritis in my joints and, and all of that to feel that horrible again, that, you know, sore every single day again. I just, 
I can't do that. I don't want to because of how good I feel. So, um, yeah, I just, I really need to, I need to do this. I need to, I did it in the beginning. So, you know, I'm just going back to the basics. It's another year for me to just keep going and keep going strong. Um, and hopefully I can inspire, you know, um, other people and let them know that this is possible for you too. Um, so <sighs> with that being said, I'm going to hop off here and, um, I have to work early in the morning per usual. So I need to just wind down for the night and, um, relax and start my day. And, um, yeah. So thank you so much for, um, watching and, I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys have an awesome night. And I appreciate every single one of you. Like I have said before, um, you really mean a lot to me. All of you do. And thank you for all your wonderful support and your comments. And keep it coming. Bye, guys.